Hello and welcome to the second part of of how to make a game in XNA tutorial uh, where we left off where we're trying to import a image or a sprite for our character or object so I'm gonna I went ahead and made a simple sprite so I'm gonna go ahead and import that just call it man.png and I'm actually gonna add a new folder called sprites and drag man.png into sprites so now all our sprites are in the sprites folder so what I'm gonna do is when we're gonna do a content.load texture 2d I'm gonna do a put in sprites and then put the sprite name and we actually don't have to put in any extension what this will do is uh, make all the sprites have just one generic uh, extension that XNA can read and XNA will find it for us so our sprite index get that ready to go next is our draw method okay so public void draw just like that and then we want to uh, put in this right batch for an argument okay and we say sprite batch dot draw then our texture td which is our sprite index oh yeah forgot to do something private to size shit I think it's rectangle yeah. rectangle just name the size set to new rectangle payment Forget. I think it, was, it might have been float. Maybe. 1.0f. I think this is just a scale of everything. But I remember there's a scale variable and a size variable. So this will be our scale. Like this scale and then size. Oops. Rectangle. Okay, so. Will be size, color, I think this is position, oh we also need a center, so private, uh, vector 2, center, and actually I'm just going to put all these Right in the draw method. Okay. There we go. Okay. Rotation. We got rotation. Origins for our center, sprite effect is sprite effects dot none. Float depth layer is going to be zero. And color, this will just be, a, this means just a tint. And if you put white, that means it's not going to have any change to the actual uh, sprite color. Okay. We put put in an argument incorrectly. Position. I'll just put this as null. Pretty sure that's correct. Let's double check everything. Destination with source. Okay, so I think I forgot something. Yeah. Okay, so we need to put the sprite effects there. Forgot to pass another argument. And our float scale will be our scale variable. Actually, why did I cut? Why did I capitalize that? That was dumb. Just 
not going to capitalize things. Crypto to origin. Oh yeah, we haven't set the center of it yet. So center equals new vector to sprite index dot width divided by two sprite index dot height divided by two. So this is just going to be the center of our sprite, pretty much. So yeah, that's pretty much for the draw method. Next thing is I'm going to make a an items class. So create a new class. I'm going to name this items. So th this will basically just keep track of all our objects and loop through, draw draw all of them, update all of them. Etc. Oh yeah, actually I forgot to add an update method to this. So private void update, and this will just be called every update method. So you can put whatever you want to update in here. So for example, if you want to go towards uh, something, if you set its speed and its direction to something like that. Okay, so I'm going to make a new method called push2, which basically will just move uh, the, uh, the object in a certain direction, a certain amount of pixels. Uh, I'm just going to copy and paste it from one of my other classes that I made, just to save time. It's pretty simple. It's uh, simple geometry. Okay, so... On my update method, I'm going to do push2, and then the number of pixels I want to push to, so my speed, and my direction. Towards, yeah. Oh, I need a rotation, okay. And my rotation. So that's what I want us to do. So there's my little object class. Okay, so actually, let's go ahead and test if this works. So I'm going to go ahead and create object. man equals new object set its coordinates to zero actually just make it 50 by 50 get rid of this oh right we have to create a new vector new vector 2 then create a 50 by 50 there we go okay that should be good was it giving an error? What? Okay, that, that is strange. I'm gonna get rid of this then. Maybe that's interfering with it. Okay, that's sort of strange. Oh, I know why. That's dumb. I put it to private instead of public. Okay. So I'm just going to put that method back that had no, no arguments. Okay. So that's that. Now we have to load our content. So we have to go man.load. Oh, I put that to private too. Well, I'm really dumb. Okay. So just change everything that's said private to public because we have to be able to call those actually yeah that's already public and another thing you want to do uh, is put make these all virtual or at least the update load content and draw methods what virtual will do is if you create another class that inherits this class you'll be able to override these methods so if you want to draw something differently, update something differently, or load something differently, you'll be able to. So man dot load content, okay? And then content this dot content and the the sprite name, which I named it. I think I named it man. Yeah. Let's check. Yep, I named it man. Man dot png, but we don't have to put the extension. So that should load that, and then here I'll put man dot update. So it updates, 
and man oh yeah before you draw anything you want to put everything that you draw within or at least sprites you want to put it between a sprite batch dot begin and a sprite dot batch dot end so sprite batch dot end okay and I'm between here I'm just gonna put man dot draw and that will draw the man Oh yeah, I have to put in the sprite batch, I forgot. Sprite batch. Okay, so actually let's go ahead and run this and see if it works, how we're doing on time. Oh, we went a little over this time, but that's okay. So after this, I think I will end this episode. As you can see, I, draw, I drew our little object here. And next, we'll create a a man class and in, that inherits from the object class but will also be able to move look in the direction of the mouse and shoot uh, see you in the next tutorial